These are primetime games. We got the Browns and Ravens Monday Night Football, about a handful of college basketball games. We'll have most of them covered today with our Pig Dog Crew. Let's take a look at our guest lineup for today. We got Brian Biller, who's on a tear right now over at Pig Dogs Premium. You can see him uh, doing well in college of, uh, of football, but man, past seven days, knocking it out. Uh, Al Ninos will join us, as will Rod Zawacki. Chris Ruffalo will serve as co host. We got Kevin Thomas in today. All right, let's go ahead and welcome uh, uh, Chris Ruffalo. Chris, uh, all set to go for another week? Absolutely. I got the, the Rutgers game on behind me. I want to get going so I can catch most of it. All right, let's go. Let's go ahead and bring him in. Brian Bentley, you'll find him over at Pig Dogs Premium, as well as the morning show with Mitch and Company. Brian, how are things going? All right, man. I'm roaring hot. Number one, last 30 days. I just got to keep up the winning picks off a great Sunday. Yeah, you were. You were doing fantastic work with plus 1,800 units of profit. You're going to be looking at this college basketball game here with Marquette and Creighton. Uh, this one at 9 p.m. Eastern time, and uh, you could watch this one over on Fox Sports 1. Uh, Creighton is laying eight. Uh, total sits here at 153. I know Marquette on a road trip after their loss at UCLA. Yeah, I'm always worried when I lock in on the game in the morning at a, a plus seven and it's up to a plus eight, but there is a pretty heavy crate action in this game. I really believe that Marquette's a lot better than the, uh, the two losses that they've already had. I think they're a top 20 team when it comes down to it. I think you're uh, going to see an improved effort against one of the best teams in land, Creighton. Uh, Marquette's 5-2 and two against the spread, uh, last seven as a dog. And road, road-wise, as a road team, they're seven and three against the spread. Marquette is. So for me, I think they come in. And I think they keep it within three points in this game in a tough uh, matchup down to the wire. Uh, All right, with Creighton. All right, again, over two, over two possessions, almost three possessions here with Marquette. Uh, Brian says this could be a one-possession game. What say you, uh, Chris, in this one, Marquette Creighton Fox one? Well, it is one of my premium picks tonight, so I'm gonna try not to delve too much into it, but. I mean, Brian's got a point. Uh, these two teams, historically, Marquette Creighton is one of the, the marquee matchups in the Big East, and they like to play each other tight. So there's definitely a, a point to be made for Marquette plus the eight points. All right, there's a point there for Marquette plus the eight. This is from Brian Bittler over at Pig Dogs. You can see the numbers are fantastic. All right, Brian, let's have it here. What's going on over at Pig Dogs Premium? All right, number one, last 30 days, 20 and 11. Last 31 NFL pick 65%. Get my NFL total of the year. It goes off tonight at pickdogs.com for $30. And if you want all three of my plays tonight, uh, you get all three for 50 bucks at pickdogs.com. Don't miss it, guys. It's going to be a huge night, especially that NFL total. Yeah, huge night right now from Brian Bittler over at Pig Dog Trim. You see the numbers there, over 1,800 units of profit past 30 days. This is all documented over at Pig Dogs premium so uh, check them out right there why not pick up one of those long-term passes if you don't want the one uh, one day you want a little longer we got a three-day seven-day up to 30 all sports pass from brian bittler get all brian's plays that would be college football would be the nfl college basketball the nba's in play it's a little more than a week away a week and one day away so a good time to get on board with brian bittler over at pick dogs premium all right brian as always a great having your show continue that success and we'll talk with you friday i'll see you at the end of the week tony all right, everybody, Brian Bittler here on the drive through All right, we'll continue on and uh, welcome Kevin Thomas to the show. You'll find Kevin o as well over on Pig Dogs a Premium. Uh, Kevin, how are you doing tonight? Good. How about you guys? How are you guys doing? Uh, we're doing great, doing great. Uh, you're going to be looking at this one between Nevada and San Diego, a college basketball action on WCC Network. Uh, uh, we got Nevada laying a three and a half on the road. Total sits here about 143. Yeah, uh, we're looking at San Diego uh, last season, 9-23, and 23, uh, but they returned most of that team. Uh, they only played one game so far due to the COVID, uh, and that was against UCLA, who we are seeing as a really good team, so I'm not going to put anything into that game as San Diego shot 26%. Uh, Nevada, on the other hand, 4-2, and two, they got uh, – one quality win so far over Nebraska that was on a back-to-back, -back, so I'm not going to put too much value into that either. They just seem to have more energy in that game. Uh, San Diego does have two transfers, and uh, they have a big stud, uh, 14 rebounds in the game against UCLA, which just says a lot. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name, but I will. Yoen Maselski, uh, 14 rebounds. Uh, I like San Diego at home with the points. I actually like them for the outright win. So there you go. All right, Sango Toreros plus the points here against Nevada. All right, Chris, uh, what say you in this matchup? 
I'm not going to go so far as to uh, call UCLA a good team just because it hurts my soul to call a Mick Cronin <laughs> coach team a good team. But no, Kevin makes a great point. I mean, San Diego, they, they're one of the few teams that, you know, didn't go the JUCO or the, sorry, the, the freshman route. They went to the transfer portal, and we're going to see if it pays off dividends. I think it does tonight. I've seen Steve Alford shoot himself in the foot too many times to count. So I'm on San Diego as well, plus a three and a half. All right, I'll agree with here with San Diego, plus a three and a half against Nevada. Action tonight from College Basketball, 9 p.m. Eastern time tip. Plenty of time to get that one in uh, there with a little bit more, almost three hours away from tip off. All right, uh, Kevin, over at Pig Dogs Premium, what you got going on? Uh, you can still get my Monday night football game. I'm 11-7-2, last 20. And I do have an NBA package up. Uh, if you get it between the, from now to December 22nd, once tip-off, it goes to 500. Right now it's 399.99. So make sure to get on that. And as always, check out my three-day and seven-day packages as you're going to get tons of sports going on at a great price. That's right, guys. Good time to get one of his long-term passes from Kevin Thomas over at Pig Dogs Premium. We're having a, doing very well up on the site. A seven-day or third-day will get all, all of uh, Kevin's plays at the site. All, all the picks that he releases, college football, college basketball, and, and the NBA will start in a little bit more than a week. So check out Kevin Thomas over at Pig Dogs Premium. All right, Kevin, as always, a great having your show. Have yourself a great night, and we'll talk with you next week. You too. See you later. Thanks. All right, everybody, Kevin Thomas here on the drive through joined here by Chris Ruffalo. Reminder, guys, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Free Picks Every Day. we got the drive through show here at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. The morning show gets us started with Mitch at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Of course, be sure to tune in at halftime of this Ravens and Browns uh, match because Mitch will come in with his halftime picks. Uh, you'll get Mitch's halftime picks and, of course, a lot more live programming here on the channel, so be sure to subscribe. And, of course, we always say, Chris, to give us that thumbs up, that like, because it helps our audience grow. Oh, absolutely. You know, we say it all the time, so hopefully it doesn't sound like a broken record, but it costs everybody nothing, takes them a second. It's right underneath the video that you're already watching if you're on the YouTube streams. It literally takes us takes you a second. It helps us out a bunch. and allows us to keep giving you guys premium content like this. So just smash the like button. It takes a second. helps us out a bunch. All right. We appreciate that quite a bit. All right, Chris, for you, you're, now it's you up in center here looking at college basketball tonight. This one on SEC Network, 8 Eastern time. Central Arkansas and Ole Miss. Ole Miss laying some points here, laying about 23. We've seen this total balloon uh, from 149 to 154 or 54 and a half in some places. Uh, how do you see this one? Yeah, you know, this is this total. I went right before we went on the air, I kind of looked at it, and, and total was the only thing that ballooned. My eyes ballooned out of my head, but you know what? I think it's it's warranted because you, you look at what Central Arkansas has done. This is a, a Central Arkansas team that you know, for lack of a better term, stinks. And not necessarily on the offensive end because, you know, this team's put up 75 points against Arkansas, you know, 83 against Little Rock, um, 68 against Memphis, 65 against uh, St. Louis. But yet you realize they're still 0-4, and that's because they're giving up 100 to Arkansas, 88 to St. Louis, who's mostly known for being a defensive team that's luckily on most nights to, to hit 70 points. You know, you got 86 to Little Rock, 85 to Memphis. The Central Arkansas team can't keep points off the board. On the other side, Ole Miss, you know, it's translated from the football field to the to the basketball court. You know, this team loves to score. They love to put points on the board, but they also give up points in bunches themselves. You know, I think that, you know, Ole Miss has still star studded lab. Devontae Shuler, K.J. Buffin. You know, this is, this is going to be a, a really high-scoring affair. I think no matter how you slice it, we're going to see both teams get – I think you could at least see Central Arkansas into the six, low 60s to low 70s, somewhere around there. And if Mississippi State keeps scoring at the pace that they're at, uh, this thing's going to go over no problem. So I like the over 154 and a half, or right. whatever your line, 154, 154 and a half. I think it goes well into 170. All right, guys, be sure to uh, shop uh, your, your your lines right here. Take, he says take Central Arkansas. And Ole Miss over total of 154 and a half. Chris Ruffalo, you'll find him over at Pig Dogs Premium. All right, Chris, the past quarter of the hour, what you got going on over at Pig Dogs Premium? Well, let me uh, start by opening up today's day on the advent calendar because we're starting to get lower and lower. And God, these doors are giving me issues. God. See, this is why they say you don't eat a cheeseburger before you start opening doors on an advent calendar because then everything gets greasy and slippery. All right, so for day 14. You guys are going to get 50 bucks off of my college basketball season pass only until midnight tonight. That's going to go down to 349.95. You can see already at the bottom of the screen, we're having a solid start to the college basketball season. So hop on one of those long-term packages for the college hoop season. It's going to get you everything up until the final buzzer of the championship game. 
So we're going to have that for you. As for tonight, still got my Monday Night Monster uh, NFL play. Got my Monday Night Madness College Hoops 3-pack. Hoops are $29.95. Uh, NFL is $25. Bucks. Those are going to put some money in your pocket to start the week. And, you know, we keep saying it. Get one of those longer-term packages because, you know what, it's going to save you money. It's going to save you save you time and, and headache down the road. You don't have to keep re-signing up. It's a one-time thing. You just sign in, get your picks, boom, you place your bets, you, you end up in the winner's circle. So hop on one of those long-term packages. Let's start putting some money in those pockets. Yeah, good time to get one of those long-term passes. You see Chris Ruffalo over at Pig Dogs Premium approaching 400 units of profit over at uh, at the site in college basketball. That is all documented. A good time to pick up one of those long-term passes. He has a seven-day or third day. You'll get all of Chris's plays. From, the, from that time period you choose over at Pig Dogs Premium. All right, uh, I will continue on here on the drive through with, with Chris Ruffalo. I want to uh, give a shout-out to our buddy Kwame. Thank you very much for that nine ninety nine Super Chat, Kwame. Thank you very much for that. Greatly appreciate it. All right, let's continue on here with our Rod Zawacki. You'll find him over at Pig Dogs Premium. Well, of course, he's part of that morning crew at, at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern Time with Mitch and Company. Uh, uh, Rod, how are things going today? Going good, going good, Tony. All right, excellent. Busy uh, as always. Uh, I know you're busy uh, with these contests. We'll update the contest standings at the end of the show, guys. And uh, you're going to be looking at this game on Pac-12 Network, Northern Colorado and Colorado. The Buffaloes returning home after that uh, that the uh, showing against Tennessee where they fell. Uh, they're going to be laying a 14. That total sits here at 135 and a half. Uh, yeah, I look at this game here and. Uh... Colorado did lose that last game, so I think they're going to come in here uh, a little bit uh, hot after that loss. Um, North, Northern Colorado really hasn't played to uh, anybody uh, big and significant yet. They are their record does show two and zero or two and zero at home, but they're on the road here. Um, so for me, their numbers numbers a little bit skewed, but uh, they're they're averaging in those two games. They're averaging 85, 85 points a game. Um, Colorado's defense will definitely they they won't let them score the, that many points in, in in this game. I'm I'm picturing them around seventy something, and the Colorado offense around seventy something. I, I, I lean to Northern Colorado in the points, but I, I like this over over a little better. Um, Colorado offense is uh, deadly with their free throws, uh, hitting almost at nine. Uh, on the on the charity stripe there, and uh, Northern Colorado loves to give teams uh, free throws at the charity stripe, and I, I think that's the big difference here that pushes this game uh, over the number. Too many too many fouls by Northern Colorado and freebie buckets. All right, that's the play here from uh, Rod Zawacki. Uh, take Colorado, Northern Colorado over a total of one thirty six. Now you can find some one thirty five and a halfs out there, so do your line shopping. Of course, every half point, every point really matters there when you look at the long term picture with your betting, especially if you're tracking it. It does make a huge difference over at uh, with, with your with your wager. And all right, Chris, what say you in this one? Yeah, and this was one that I looked at, and I think Rod's bang on here. I mean, you look at the first two games for Colorado, averaging around eighty points a game. And those were two step down spots in competition. I think Northern Colorado, while it's a rivalry, is a bit of a step down as well. So if they score around 80, all you really got to have is 55, 60 points from Northern Colorado to get well over this number. And I think we do. So I'm with them. I'm uh, I'm on the over here as well. All agreement here on the over 136. All right, uh, uh, Rod, approaching the bottom of the hour. What do you have going on over at Pig Dogs Premium? Uh, I still got uh, the Monday Night Football available uh, by itself. Side with grab my uh, college basketball birdcage of the night uh, for Monday available at the website. Uh, both available. Grab it up or grab something long term. Uh, three day, seven day. Uh, gonna have a good week. I can feel it. All right. All right, check it out. Rod Zawacki over at Pig Dogs Premium. He has a long-term passes. You want to check him out for three days or seven days or up to 30 days. All sports pass. All of Rod's plays over at Pig Dogs Premium. Of course, the NBA season just about to start. And they're looking forward to a big season from Rod Zawacki over at Pig Dogs Premium. All right, Rod, as always, great having your show. Have yourself there a great night. Continued success, and we will talk with you uh, tomorrow. You guys have yourself a good night. See you in the morning, Chris. All right, everybody. Uh, Chris uh, right uh, Rod Zawacki, bright and early, 10 a.m. Eastern time. You can catch that morning show with Rod Zawacki and company. All right, uh, we'll continue on here on the drive-through. I just wanted to give a shout out to uh, one of our uh, one of our uh, uh, chat uh, people on the chat room here. Let's see. I think we've got him up here. Let's see. I want to give a, a shout out here to Jay Dog. 
Uh, J Dog, thanks for that $4.99 uh, super chat over at uh, over on the webs over on the chat room. We appreciate that quite a bit. J Dog, thank you again for that super chat. All right, we'll continue on here on the drive through. Let's go ahead and welcome to the show. We got El Ninos. He's looking at a game that I like myself as well. El, how you doing today? Doing pretty good. How are you? Oh, doing great. Doing great. All right, Dale, you're going to be looking at this a game between uh, Northern Arizona and Colorado State. Uh, this one will be on Mountain West Network. Uh, Colorado State's laying about 15 and a half. Total sits here at 146. Uh, how do you see this one? Yeah, I see a bit of a mismatch here, as uh, would be suggested by that line. Uh, Colorado State, they had uh, six games canceled before uh, playing their season opener, which they won 89 to 77 against uh, Colorado State Pueblo, for what that's worth. Uh, the Rams, as I said, are a much better team here, uh, returning a lot of players. Uh, this is a pretty big number to be laying, but uh, Northern Arizona has definitely uh, shown us uh, that they're capable of getting blown out, losing their first two games, 96-53 to 53 and 74-50. to 50. And uh, I think uh, Colorado State can, uh, can win this one by about 20 or so, so uh, I'll be laying the points with uh, Colorado State. Yeah, I can't argue that one at all uh, with Colorado State. This Northern Arizona team is just bad. Just, and not just bad this year. Go back and look at their numbers for the past five years. And in some of these power ratings, you'll see beat red pretty much in every column the past five years. It's been horrible. Chris, what say you in this in this one? Oh, man. I saw red. The first thing I did was look at your T-shirt, Tony. Um, you know, you looked at it. I, I got I to gotta admit, I'm, I'm with Al on this one. I mean, don't get me wrong. Colorado State without Nico Caracho. Eh, especially after not playing it for, for six games. But Northern Arizona, you get blown out by UC Riverside, yeah, you're dead to me. I'll take Colorado State, lay in the 16. Yeah, I can't argue that one. All right, Colorado State, lay in the 16. You can actually get 15 and a half now. This line has been moving around a lot to, tonight. So uh, shop that line. You can get that. It can actually get 15 and a half in many places. So look for that with Colorado State in this one. All right, L, uh, hitting the bottom of the hour. What do you have going on over at Pig Dogs Premium? I have a three-pack with my uh, favorite college basketball play and a side and total in the NFL game tonight, and as well as an extra uh, college basketball play for the people on the longer-term passes. All right, so check out Al Nino's over at Pig Dogs Premium. Uh, you know, we don't talk soccer, but you will throw soccer picks up there on uh, on the premium side, and he's having a pretty good year, at over 560 units of profit. Why not pick up one of those long-term passes from Al Nino's over at Pig Dogs Premium? All right, Al, as always, a great having you on the show. Have yourself a great night, and we will talk with you tomorrow. All right. Have a good one, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. All right. El Nino's here with us on the drive through. All right. Continuing on. We're going to definitely take a look at this Monday Night Football game. Uh, yours truly is going to step up here and give that pick out. It's the Ravens and the Browns. And uh, my play is going to be on the Browns taking the three points. Now, the Browns have defended well at home. They're holding teams at 306 yards, about a little more than 18 points a game. And they're getting pressure on the quarterback, averaging about three sacks. They have that running attack behind Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt on the road while the Ravens' defense allowing five yards to carry, which sets up plays downfield for Baker Mayfield. But keep an eye on the weather in this one. Even if the weather is bad, I, I, you know, the Browns have a running game, which, which is something I'm looking at here. Ravens playing on back-to-back -back short weeks with six days between games. Uh, Browns will have that extra day of rest after the win a Sunday uh, last Sunday at Tennessee. Put up a lot of yards in that game. 458 yards, 340 in the passing game. I'm going to look at the Browns plus three. Uh, uh, Chris, I know there's a lot of trends out there with, with, with the Ravens, but I got to tell you, I don't know how – this might be the one of the better Browns teams since uh, Brian Seip was quarterback. I'd, I'd, I'd argue that this is one of the best Browns teams since they went back to Cleveland. It's just like they, they, you, haven't had, you haven't had a chance to say that about the Cleveland Browns very much, but um, – you know, I do, I do have a premium play on the side, but I like my free play just as much. I like the under in this one. You have two fantastic running offenses, with, obviously with Cleveland with Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb and Baltimore. Well, we all know Lamar Jackson, J.K. Dobbins, and what and what they can do. So I think there's going to be a ton of clock chewed up tonight. I think we're going to see a lot of running the football. I think we're going to see a lot of physical play running into the offensive lines. This, this, is, this, is, going, this is going to be your, your typical AFC North black and blue kind of game. So I like the under in this one. You like the under. And then one thing to note here is that uh, we talked about the weather. It could be cold. It could be some issues here. I don't like quarterbacks that run the football in cold weather. I, that's, I've always worried about fumbles and, and turnovers in that situation because they don't tuck the ball away, uh, you know, as well in, when they run the football in cold weather. So that's one thing I was a little nervous about 
uh, with Lamar Jackson running the football in this type of environment. All right, uh, yeah. continue on. And the other, the other part, to cut you, I, the other thing I was going to say, when you're also running the football, you're a mobile quarterback, and it's cold weather, it's supposed to be windy tonight as well, those hits hurt that much more. And it makes you a little bit, I don't want to say it makes you second guess yourself, but you're kind of just like, okay, not this again. And then you have to run, then you're going to get hit and it's still going to hurt just the same. So I, I'm with you there. I Mobile quarterbacks in the cold weather, not my favorite place to be, but you know, it's part of the game. Unfortunately, it's part of the deal that you sign up with when you, when you decide to play for the Ravens or any cold weather team for that matter. Uh, yeah. Especially Cleveland. No question about that. All right, guys, you can always check uh, pig dogs premium for my long-term passes. I got a, a three day and a seven day as well as 30 days up there. Check me out over at pig dogs premium. All right. Uh, we got you covered here. With the Monday Night Football, we got you covered with a, a good uh, uh, group of games from college football for tonight. But now it's time to go ahead and remove those picks from today's show. All right, we can we start off here with Brian Biller. He was on Marquette plus the eight against Creighton. Kevin Thomas says San Diego plus three and a half against Nevada. Chris Central Arkansas Ole Miss over one fifty four and a half. Rod Zawacki, Colorado Northern Colorado over total of one thirty six. El Nino's Colorado State minus sixteen, although there are fifteen and a half out there against Northern Arizona. Yours truly on the Browns plus the three. All right, uh, let's go start with uh, Chris. Other than your pick, which one do you like the best? Uh, I think I got to be with Al on this one. I like Colorado State minus the 16 against Northern Arizona. There, lumberjacks. Unfortunately, they're gonna. There's a lot. There's not that much wood for Colorado State to chop tonight. I think they're gonna get taken down. Timber. All right, Al. Uh, other than other than your play, which one do you like the best up there? Um, I will go with uh, Kevin Thomas. I'll go with uh, with San Diego plus three and a half. San Diego plus three and a half. And I'm going to go with Al's play. I mean, I just hate it. Northern Arizona. They could lose this by 20, 30 points really easily. They're not a very good team. They don't defend. I think they're shooting like uh, 22%, no, 29% from the field and giving up over 50% shooting. It's just it's just atrocious numbers uh, this year. Even Riverside was launching threes on them and it was just, and blew them out by like 24. So I'm with you there. All right, uh, Alice, thank you for having me on the show. Let's go ahead, guys, and um, take a look at the up-to-date standings now in these contests. We'll start here with the Pig Dogs, with the Pig Dogs Capper contest. It goes, uh, our December contest, it goes up until the end of the month, and I want to go ahead and bring that up right now. So let's take a look at it, Chris. Uh, right now we got uh, the numbers in uh, through 12-13. James Clark, over 2,200 units of profit. He's got a lead on Joseph Peru. And Kendall Davis here uh, are, are, are at quite, are at 1,000 units over 1,074, but uh, Clark up to a lead so far. But still a lot, so more than half the, less than half the contest in already. Yeah, there's still another half of the contest to go. And, you know, catching two giant money line dogs will, will sort of do this for you. It'll give you a nice, a nice lead. Now, now it's about nursing that lead and just making sure it doesn't all go away in the span of a day. So. You know, there's there's still there's still time for for these guys that, and girls that are right behind Mr. James Clark to to sort of make up some ground. And like I said, by no means is anybody out of this, especially when you're at over a thousand units of, of, of profit. And and make no mistake, you know, we're we're always going to be looking for 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 other writers or other cappers as well. To and we're always just seeing what talents out there. And right now, I can definitely see from the top ten, there is a lot of talent in this pool that we have going on right now. Yeah, a lot of talent from that top 10. Let's take a look at 11 uh, through 25. We've got 20 people, at least 500 units of profit through two weeks. Not too bad here. Bill Godwin's still in the hunt. All these, all of them are still in the hunt. we got uh, even Justin Wells sitting at 18, 600 units of profit. A lot can change here the next uh, two, plus two weeks. Absolutely. And how many times have we said it only takes, you know, two, uh, two oh and three days from people at the top and two, three and oh days from people in the, in the, top, at the bottom of the 20, top 25? That's a 1,200 unit swing. That's that's enough to, to 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 jumble everything up. So, like we said, guys, it is not over by any stretch of the imagination. No, not over whatsoever. There's a flash uh, on the site. Be sure to check out uh, the Facebook group Pick Dogs for the all the details of the con contest is over. But you can track the results. All the cappers post their picks in there. So, if you want to follow any of these cappers with their plays every day, go to to the uh, Pick Dogs Facebook group, and you'll be able to check out. Uh, the contest results there. All right, the we'll other, continue. I was say the other thing is we're also having a lot more people start to put their write-ups in there as well, so you can start to see how these, you know, how these contest entrants are getting to their picks and how they're getting to where they're getting to. And it's you know what, and take it from me, someone who's been writing on the site for four years, it's always nice to have a fresh insight onto how people get there. And I'm I'm enjoying reading a lot of these. 
Oh, absolutely. Here's the uh, Sports Chat Plays Top 10 uh, leaderboard here. This is the current uh, numbers here. This one is pretty competitive here as we're seeing uh, Jordan with over 1,400 units of profit. But Whiteman, Boone, Johnson, and Feather, we've got uh, five uh, cappers here over 1,000 units. And uh, Lewis and Lucasano not too far behind. No, this was, and the funny thing was, was this was the actual, the smaller group of the two, but it also seems to have the most, uh, the most edge, at least in the top 25. And it's just like, it's just a log jam near the top. I mean, we expected there to be a little bit of a log jam, but to have, you know, five people over a thousand units of profit in the top five, and it's going to be great to watch for the, for the second half of this contest. That's right. Here's 11 through 25, guys. Again, this contest uh, will be on Sports Chat Place on the Facebook group as well. And again, all the cappers here post their picks so it's transparent. You can see every play if you want to track them. Unfortunately, you can't get in the contest if you missed it. It was it started uh, December 1st. But it's always good to track some of these top performance performers out here. And so you can follow their picks and maybe get some winners here over at the Sports Chat Place Facebook group. So that's, the, that's your up-to-date contest. All right, guys, we're here. Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. Eastern time with a drive through Back tomorrow with a lot more picks on the show for all the primetime games. So be sure to tune in. And don't forget, it all gets started at 10 a.m. Eastern time with the morning show with Mitch and company. And don't forget, halftime of the Ravens and Browns. Have your phones, have your laptop ready. Check those YouTube notifications because Mitch will come up at halftime with his halftime show, giving you the halftime picks for this Ravens and Browns. So be sure to tune in at the half. All right, let's bring in our crew from today's show and it will give yourself a nice wave goodbye and have yourself a great night and we'll talk with